Have you ever wondered if learning keyboard shortcuts is really worth your time? What if I told you that mastering just a handful of them could revolutionize the way you work, saving you countless hours? In addition, I bet you will learn some new amazing functions that you would have never gotten to know otherwise. Let's start with one of my favorite pet peeves. Sometimes when I start my laptop or computer, the keyboard language changes to English, which I'm not used to. Even though my computer system is set to English, my keyboard layout and language should be German, which I know and want to use. Maybe you have a similar problem when working with multiple languages. You always find yourself clicking through the menu to change the keyboard language to the one you prefer. So the simple solution to this hassle is to use the shortcut to switch keyboard layout or language, which is Windows plus space. Pressing the Windows key together with the space bar allows you to toggle between installed keyboard layouts and languages quickly. This feature is a game changer for those who often switch between different languages for writing emails, documents or communicating online or it's a game changer for all those who suffer from your computer just changing keyboard languages randomly. If you find yourself in the former group, imagine you're drafting an email in English and you need to reply to another in Spanish. Simply use this shortcut to switch to a Spanish keyboard layout, type your response and switch back just as easily. It's seamless and saves you the time of manually changing the settings each time. The second shortcut is one that probably very few of you know. It's like a hidden secret that you never missed, but once you know it, you will wonder how you could live so far without knowing it. I myself discovered this shortcut a while ago and I must say it's probably under my top shortcuts just because it summarizes so many useful things that you need to access on a regular basis. I'm talking about the quick access menu shortcut that you can access with Windows plus X. Pressing the shortcut opens a menu at the bottom left of your screen, just where your start button is, full of essential system management tools. This quick access menu includes, for example, the task manager, device management, settings, file explorer, command prompt, or a click on the desktop. It's a fast track to adjusting system settings or troubleshooting without sifting through multiple menus. For example, accessing device manager to update drivers or check hardware settings is just one click away from this menu. This avoids the hassle of navigating through the control panel or settings app. And the best thing is that each option in the quick access menu has another shortcut that you can use. Just press the letter that is underlined in the respective word. For example, if you want to go to the settings via the quick access menu, just click N or S to open the search bar. Let's move forward with a shortcut that enhances accessibility and visibility. It's basically about making your computer more user-friendly and adaptable to your visual needs. For example, if you're working on a detailed graphic design or need to read very small text on a website, simply press Windows and plus to zoom in as needed. If you keep the Windows button pressed and click plus multiple times, it will further zoom in until you reach the maximum. For me, this was about 10 clicks, but this might differ depending on the screen size and resolution you have. To zoom out, you then need to click the minus button just as often. In addition to just the zoom feature, there will be a small window popping up once you have clicked Windows and Plus. Instead of pressing the buttons, you could also use the buttons in the magnifier window to zoom in and out. In addition, there's a play button that will read out the text of your active window and some settings to change language or the like. I often use the magnifier when I want to screenshot something very small in high resolution on my widescreen monitor. If I had just taken the screenshot as is, it would have been quite pixelated. But if I zoom in on the details with Windows and Plus, I can take a much better screenshot without it costing me much more time. Do you like the insights from today's video so far? Then this is your next step. Get ready to transform your approach to work and life with my brand new Productivity Booster Pack. This essential toolkit includes more than 100 flashcards, each packed with a unique productivity method in five crucial categories personal effectiveness, personal growth and well-being, professional development, interpersonal skills and strategic planning. 
So whether you're refining your personal habits, enhancing your professional skills, or planning your next big move, these cards provide actionable tips and techniques to help you thrive in every area of life. Ready to boost your productivity? Then click the link in the description to secure your pack today and take the first step towards a more organized and productive life. So let's do this together. The next shortcut helps you streamline your workflow and ensures that your system and file views are always up to date. This shortcut is particularly helpful if you're collaborating with others, maybe in a shared document, in the browser, or on a shared drive. Imagine you're working against a deadline and collaborate with others on an important document, presentation, or contract. Having the latest changes at your fingertips without needing to manually reopen a document any folders or restart your computer is key. The shortcut that makes this possible is refresh your PC, which you can do by pressing F5 or Ctrl plus R while in Windows Explorer or on your desktop. This command instantly refreshes the contents of your display. For example, if you've just downloaded new files or made changes in a directory that don't show up right away, simply pressing F5 or Ctrl and R will refresh the window and display the most current information. I often use the shortcut to refresh the browser window, for example, on new sites or in analytics dashboards to make them display the latest information. To do that, I prefer to use F5 because it's just one button instead of two. But maybe you have a smaller keyboard without the function keys on top, so you would need to use Ctrl and R, which does the exact same job. This next keyboard shortcut unlocks one of the most crucial yet often ignored parts of your computer. It provides instant access to all your system settings, eliminating the need to navigate through menus or search for the control panel. This is incredibly useful when you need to swiftly adjust network settings, system sounds, or update your privacy settings without disrupting your workflow. The shortcut that allows you to do this efficiently is the one to open settings. Simply press Windows plus I. This command directly opens the Windows settings menu where you can modify everything from your desktop background to advanced security features. For instance, if you need to connect to a different Wi-Fi network or adjust your display settings for a presentation, pressing Windows and I gives you a direct access to these options without delay. You can jump right into the network settings to switch connections or fine-tune your display brightness and resolution within seconds. All the keyboard shortcuts I'm covering are basically about making your workflow more efficient and effortless and helping you keep your computer and screen clutter-free and clean. That's also where the next shortcut helps with quickly reducing screen clutter to find files on your desktop or zoom out for a second and start fresh if you have too many windows open and fear losing the oversight. Sometimes I have this problem when I'm working on a presentation or a contract. I have too many windows open, for example, with input from several emails, older presentations, several documents or studies in PDF, then another piece of information in a browser window, and so on. Eventually, I have quite a few windows open and sometimes need to click through so many to get to the one I want. Then it helps to know the shortcut to minimize all open windows by pressing Windows plus M. It instantly minimizes all open windows to achieve a clean workspace with just a simple keystroke. So once you've found what you were looking for on the desktop or gotten your focus back, you can also restore all the windows that you just minimized. This can be done with the shortcut Shift, Windows, and M. These two shortcuts in combination allow you to manage your screen space without losing any applications, providing a seamless way to organize your workflow. The next shortcut is very similar to the previous one, but with a tiny difference. It also helps you quickly access your desktop to open files or applications, saving valuable time and maintaining a smooth workflow. The shortcut I'm talking about is called Display Desktop, which can be achieved by pressing Windows plus D. This command again minimizes all open windows, allowing you to see the desktop without closing any applications. Pressing Windows D a second time will bring back all the windows exactly as they were before you minimize them. Now you might wonder what the difference between Windows D and Windows M is. Basically, Windows D is more of a quick show and hide tool for accessing the desktop while keeping your workspace setup ready to be restored 
at a moment's notice. And Windows M, on the other hand, is more about clearing the screen with a bit more permanence, requiring a different shortcut to bring everything back. This makes Windows D generally more convenient for rapid access to the desktop and an immediate return to your tasks. Now imagine that you have many windows open and try to get your focus back by using some of the previous shortcuts to minimize them and maybe just open selected windows again. But what if you would like to close some of the windows you don't need anymore? Sure, you could use your mouse and move it to the top right of the windows to click the close button. But of course, there's a faster way to do this. The shortcut for swiftly closing the current window or application is pressing Alt and F4. This command closes the active window on your screen. So if you have many windows open and would like to quickly close them, or if you are not using your mouse at all for certain tasks like doing some Excel modeling, you can just close a window with this shortcut. If no windows are open, the shortcut can also be used to open the shutdown or sign out dialog, making it a great tool for different occasions. Okay, now imagine that all the shortcuts you have just heard did not help in whatever you were trying to achieve. Maybe trying to close an application did not help because it has stopped working. Or your computer seems to slow down and you don't know why. In all those cases, you would want to get to the task manager and quickly see what's happening. I use this function and shortcut occasionally, at least when there is a program that has stopped working and I want to force its shutdown. So the shortcut I'm using to get to the task manager is Control, Shift and Escape. Having your task manager open will get you an instant insight into your system's performance and allows you to manage applications effortlessly. Using the shortcut, bypassing the need for the more cumbersome way to pressing Ctrl, Alt, Delete, and then selecting the task manager, instead just press Ctrl, Shift and Escape and you're directly there. And finally, there's one shortcut I can highly recommend. I use it almost on a daily basis and I can only recommend you keep this in mind. It comes in handy for so many different situations, just as for quickly locating files, applications or settings without having to manually navigate through folders or menus. In short, and just as the other shortcuts, it can dramatically enhance your productivity and daily efficiency. I'm talking about the shortcut to open the search bar, which is achieved by pressing Windows and S. This command instantly opens the search interface on your Windows system, allowing you to type in your query and see results from your computer, web results, and even from your linked cloud content. For example, if you need to find a specific document, email, or even a setting within your system, instead of clicking through various folders or panels again, you can simply press Windows S and start typing the name of the item you're looking for. Within seconds, you'll see a list of relevant files and information right at your fingertips. Or in case there is another shortcut you were missing in this video. You could either use the search bar and look for that specific shortcut, or even better, you could watch this video next where I share even more shortcuts that you will love and make your life so much easier from now on.